This is Don, and I'm Chad. And this is Night and Day Review. Are you ready? Alright, so now we gotta get to the the meat, the fucking meat and potato. <clears throat> what are we reviewing today? <laughs> Alright, we are reviewing the very first big box office summer release of the summer of 2015, Avengers Age of Ultron. The 11th entry of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's 11 movies of Marvel, man, 11 of them. Can you believe it? And there's still so many to come. So first off, what we're going to do here, we're just going to do a non-spoiler -spo uh, review for those who, you know, just want to get a overall, like, impression, like, should I go see it, should I not? And then we'll dive into some spoiler territory, and then you can just kind of mute it, and then stay tuned until the end to get the official rating or not, but we're going to do a non-spoiler review first. Sounds fantastic. Okay. Discuss the movie without spoiling any major... Things were out without getting anyone really upset or mad. I'd say that it was definitely better than the first Avengers. Uh, that's by far more action, better plot. What, uh, what do you think of the uh, <clears throat> Ultron? Dude, I really liked it. It was very interesting how he was created, actually. And James Spader playing Ultron was awesome, though. Like that guy can like narrate my life, and I'm sure everyone can probably agree to that. Almost as good as Morgan Freeman. In this movie, you get all types. Like you said, you get a lot of action, and there is so much going on. Sometimes it's probably uh, say it's a little more difficult to keep up with sometimes because it moves so fast. They're yeah. here, they're here, and they're here. It just moves so fast. But I mean, it, it's not so fast where you can't keep up. with you can't like, oh my god, I don't know what's going on here or there. And well, you know, some of the new characters they don't really explain either. They're just there. Bam. Okay, about the new characters, Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. Yes, the, uh, the yes, twins, they don't, the yeah, twins. there's no backstory really, they're just, hello, we're here, and then <laughs> and that was it, and now they're here. So he hasn't seen Captain America's Winter Soldier yet, so there is actually, spoiler here, uh, if you've seen Captain America, there is a scene at the very end that introduces them. <laughs> you can YouTube well, it. I guess I'll have to watch the Winter Soldier. I like to think that Joss Whedon, the director of this movie, did a tremendous job juggling as much as he did with all the characters, the villains, and setting up future Marvel projects that are coming up, such as Civil War, Black Panther, Infinity War movies coming out. We're going to talk about now like the things that we really, really like. Oh, things I really like? Yeah, talk about the things you really like. I about. absolutely loved all the one-liners. All the one-liners? There was multiple, I mean, Jesus Christ, Tons there were so many one-liners. One I'm not what, sure if there was a... Complete sentence that wasn't a one liner. The Hulk and Black Widow. I don't know which one you're talking about. You're, it's like, the, uh, what is it like? You guys playing Hide the Cucumber? No, no, it was like Hide the Zucchini. It was Hide the Zucchini. It was Hide the Zucchini. <laughs> Regardless, they're both green and they're both awkward. I was the only person in the theater that laughed. Everybody else just kind of just <laughs> sat there. Not to mention, I was sitting next to Carl from uh, <laughs> Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Oh my gosh. Look, but, you know, I don't judge. I should. My theater experience was actually a lot more different. I had a lot of people who were actually pretty excited and cheering. My favorite part, say, uh, worth for me definitely uh, mentioning is definitely the... I'd say the Hulk versus Iron Man fight was really cool. Yeah, that was cool. I like that. Giving Hawkeye this time around a little bit more of a... More stuff to do. You know. See, they gave him too much. They gave him too much? They gave him too much. Might as well just call it... Hawkeye. <laughs> I mean, Hawkeye and the Avengers. I mean, we met his family, his kids, we went to his house. Yep. You know, we slept there. I mean, we did. It was sleepover at Hawkeye's yeah. house. Yeah. It was. Got, it really was. We got to know them. I didn't think it was a bad thing seeing Hawkeye's family at all. Because this character, we didn't really get to know them. I mean, the guy only showed up in the first door for like a minute, if that. And then we didn't see him again until the first Avengers, and he was pretty much a slave to Loki. And then this time, we had, he had more stuff to do, which I thought that was pretty cool. I don't like Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow. Uh, I disagree there. Now, that's probably one thing, guys, I'm glad you brought that up. That's probably one thing, I guess, uh, probably a lot of people probably didn't really care for is the out of nowhere, it seems, relationship between the Hulk and Scarlett Johansson, the Black Widow character. I think the way it was used was fine, I understood why they did it, but I think that, I think a lot of people would have probably bought it more if they maybe developed it in, I don't, I don't know, like maybe a post credit scene of another movie or something like, like oh yeah, uh, they go on a date or something like that. I don't know, that would probably have been a good post credit scene. It's like, oh, they like each other. I'm not really there to see like two superheroes fall in love. Yeah. <laughs> I'm there to see two superheroes I like the one-liners, of course, I did like Ultron. Ultron was pretty cool. It wasn't anything like he was in the comics, but, I mean, I've read the comics. Ultron was just a generic, you know, want to destroy the world robot. Joss Whedon just kind of gave him personality. 
and which I was okay with. Right. Now, did you? What did you think about the vision? The vision was amazing. Uh, Paul Bettany like knocked it out of the park playing the vision. I have to agree. Jaw dropping experience. Yeah. I was my freaking mouth at the floor. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. I mean, it was unbelievable. Yeah. A lot of people were anticipating. They've heard him. They didn't really put him in any posters or like uh, build him up at all. We just heard that he was going to be in the movie. And once we saw him, it was just that moment of awe. Now is the part we're going to talk about spoilers. So if you don't want to hear any really, really, really spoily details, like I the juicy, the moist. Yeah, all the good stuff. All the good stuff. Yeah, just. Uh... Are you ready? <laughs> what would you say uh, was the biggest moment for you in terms of light that just shocked you and took you by surprise? When Quicksilver. Quicksilver. I got killed. I was kind of like dumbfounded. I was like, what? Yeah. Like he was in and out. Now he's gone forever. This was his first official movie being introduced in the Marvel Universe, and now he's leaving. Well, that's another cool thing. Scarlet, Scarlet Witch, the sister of the uh, girl who was all yeah. kinetic and all that. Oh. I liked her powers. Yeah. Really, uh, unique. I thought the ending scene with uh, Vision and Ultron was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. The Vision came yeah. down and spoke with them. Vision's like, no, we gotta give humans a chance, you know, thing, talk and everything. And then uh, <clears throat> Ultron said the fact that you're incredibly naive, and he said, well, I was just born yesterday. Well, he <laughs> another one liner. Boom. I like to say the last action sequence where they're all together in the circle. Um, in their last stand against Ultron, like, when you know, the camera's like on top and you see them all fighting off all the robots and all that. It was pretty cool, the action sequence there, and it was all slow-mo, and... Yeah. Yeah, and the whole train sequence, too, where, um, I think Captain America was fighting the robot, uh, Ultron, you know, other robots inside, and he told Quicksilver go outside and take uh, people off the streets and yeah. all that. Uh, How about when the Vision picked up Thor's hammer? Oh, yeah, um, he, uh... Vision picked up Thor's hammer. It was amazing. It took everyone by surprise. I thought that was amazing. Because they, there was a whole sequence there at the beginning. Of, they had this amazing, that's probably another one of my favorite scenes in the movie. Like, they had this party. Spoiler alert! Uh, the post credit scene with uh, Thanos and the gauntlet, which was pretty awesome. We got I didn't to see, see that. You didn't see that? I didn't see that. <clears throat> there is a post credit scene, again, we're in spoiler territory, where we see Thanos. As you know, he was already appeared in the first Avengers post credit scene. Guardians of the Galaxy, and he makes another appearance in the uh, Age of Ultron, and he gets the gauntlet, and he pretty much says, I will get them myself, which he means all the Infinity Stones, which we've seen four of them so far in the Marvel Universe. So, <clears throat> it's going to be cool seeing where it's going to go from here. What do you give Age of Ultron rating-wise out of 10? An 8? Is that better? A 7 or 8? It's, it's, and the reason why I gave it a 7 or 8 or a B plus, it is because of all the one liners. Okay. So what would you give it? What would I give it? I would probably give it a solid 9 out of 10. Solid 9. The only reason why I don't give it a perfect 10, like I said, the plot was a little paper thin. I mean, it was pretty, you know, simple, but I mean, it was still fun. Still uh, a lot of good it was action. Fun. It, was it was fun. fun. A lot of fun. fun. A lot of fun. Good action. I think each character had their own, um, had their own had their own moment to shine, which I like that. You know, everyone had their own little small storyline character arc. Well, almost them. all of them. Like, almost not, all. Not all of them. No, and that's another. Maybe thing. more than that's, some. That's another thing. Uh, that's another reason why I didn't give it any higher than a seven or eight. And it's I'm like seven point five. And that's it's getting lower. <laughs> it would have been cool if we had like a, a long. I would have been okay with a longer movie. They said that the uh, Joss Whedon made his original cut was like I think almost three hours. I think something like that. I would. Well, I would personally say it was about two and a half. Yeah, so this was about two and a half. Two? No, or was it two, two and a half, something like that? But still, well, it was it long, like almost a full hour. Well, it was long enough for my ass to fall asleep in, uh, in a theater. So <laughs> and then when that starts happening, I know the movie is getting too long. Uh, I didn't think it was a chore to watch the length of the movie. Uh, if they would have added more, to probably add some scenes in there because I mean. A lot of the dream sequences that, that they were putting in, like stuff with Thor got a little wonky there with some of his uh, dream stuff. Um, that's our review of Avengers Age of Ultron. I liked it. You should go see it. I do have a question of the day, though, before we go. All right, what's your question of the day? If Bruce Banner was having sex with Black Widow and he turns into the Hulk while they're having sex, do you think she'd get ripped in half? <laughs> you know, there's probably some... Uh, Comment below. Uh, I'm sure there's some fan fiction out there that makes that, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's fan fiction already out there and someone's gonna copy and paste and put in the 
Probably, yeah. yeah. yeah it's not right. a fan fiction. It's gonna be fan fiction. fiction. It's gonna be fan fiction. I just wanted. Is that awkward? <laughs> I just wanted to know. I just thought it was weird. Yeah. I mean, because what happens if he gets angry? Angry sex. Yeah. All his love. Cool. All his life. Till next time. Till next time. Oh, oh, my bad, my bad, my no, foot. Now you got it. Did you like what you saw? Like, comment, and subscribe down below.